Hi and good morning. It's another Tuesday. So how's everybody doing today? I always love these mornings. I start thinking about it. Well, sometimes I think about it all week, but particularly on uh, Monday in the afternoon, in the evening, I kind of go to bed thinking about what am I going to talk about on the next day? So uh, I will fill you in this morning. As always, I like to give a few minutes for um, people to come on. Let's see if we have anybody coming in. LV is watching. Good morning. I think you're our first one today. And LaVon Gray and Sally Anderson. Hi, good morning. Do y'all have your coffee or your tea ready to have a little chat as if we're, you know, sitting in a coffee shop together? Nice is uh, you don't have to really be dressed to go out. Now, I am because, obviously, I'm not going to get on here without being ready. But uh, what's nice is we can have this chat and talk about things um, right from our own homes. Maybe you're from your office. I had one of the gals tell me that she is, on, uh, she is always on her way to a meeting, so she listens to it. I'm so glad she doesn't try to watch it while she's driving. So, mm -mm. I'm drinking jasmine tea this morning. That's my one of my favorites, jasmine green tea, just in case y'all want to know. And, oh, I have to tell you, I guess I will give a little shout out. But uh, Zipology has some amazing teas. Just want y'all to know that. I, I, I only drink tea. Coffee doesn't like me or my body doesn't like coffee too much. So, I only drink tea. And so... Um, trying some new flavors, which is really nice. Um, LV, where are you? Um, I know Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Kansas City says hi. LV, where are you? And if everybody, when you check in and say hi, I love that. And if you'll tell me where you are from, where do you live? That would be really nice to know. Okay. So it is, um, I understand it is still really hot there in Kansas City. I'm back here in Las Vegas, and it was about, I think, 108 or 9 yesterday, which is really hot. The blessing is we don't have that 80% humidity like you guys have there. Oh my gosh, Elby, you are in Mississippi, so hi. <laughs> I love that. Maybe we should start a chapter of Fun Fearless Female down in Mississippi. And Sally's in uh, Kansas City. Great, everybody keep checking in. I do like to give, and I, again, I think it's so cool now that I've figured out that they, um, Facebook shows me at the top of my screen uh, the pictures, that y'all's Facebook pictures, so I can see you a little bit. I'll tell you that my eyes aren't that great, so I, don't, I can't see uh, that close. I can get closer, I guess, and maybe see. So, Christy, good morning. Okay, so let's see. This says I can give little, I can wave. Okay, I waved. And let's see, wave. And Sylvia Foster. Yay. Sylvia, where are you? What, what, what location are you? Okay, everybody tell us. I'm sliding down. I'm looking at our list here. And LaVon, I don't think I know where you are. Okay. I love it that we are going across the country. Isn't that a cool thing about Facebook, right? That it uh, connects us. Oh, Christy in Florida. Hi. Yay. We're kind of getting from coast to coast. Isn't that exciting? Okay. So, yeah, as everybody keeps coming on, I will sort of interrupt myself as we go. If there's somebody who might like to be on camera with me, that would be great. I know that not everybody does. Because uh, it's kind of fun to have somebody else on here. And then that person gets to help me by reading the no all the uh, notes that y'all write because I can't always read them at the same time. So we are starting our new uh, series, or I guess it's a series, of um, Your Confidence Mirror. And we talked about last week the, the seven areas of confidence. And in Kansas City uh, last week at all the lunches, I had them all fill out, um, you know, their, uh, on a scale of one to 10, what their confidence level was. And I will have that for all of you sometime this week. Um, still tweaking it. I learned a lot of things last week. Uh, they were they were my beta group. We were checking it out last week. And uh, hey, Audrey, good morning from Colorado. I assume you're up. In, you're still in Colorado, or are you back in uh, back in Kansas? Uh, so as you uh, as you see that come out, I really hope that you will fill it out and send it back in to me. 
And everyone who uh, sends it, everyone who does it and sends me their email back, uh, you are going to be entered into a drawing for two hours of free coaching with me. So you'll get me for two hours to just work on whatever it is that you want to work on. Okay, yeah, Audrey, so you're in uh, Colorado. And Linda, hi, good morning, Linda Wilson. So where are you? Everybody check in, tell me where you are. It'd be kind of cool if I had a map in the back, right? I'm going to have to think about that. And then put little dots on where we have people that, that check in with us. It'd be kind of cool to see, you know, what parts of the country are, are you know, coming together. So on our confidence mirror, uh, as I said, there are seven um, seven characteristics that places where you need to uh, think about where you are confident, and one of those is business. Now I'm going to come from this from a probably a different place than you would imagine, and the truth is I don't really know why, except this was just really on my heart and mind today. So I want to share this with you. So when you think of, okay, so look at yourself and if you looking in the mirror and you were thinking about your, how you feel in your confidence level in your, in your business, okay? From a scale of one being, man, I need a lot of help, to 10 is I feel totally confident in what I'm doing. All right, so that's a, that's a big scale. So where do you fit in? And maybe you're a nine or a 10, maybe you're not really you know, all the way to a one, but you might be a two or three. And that's how you're going to rate on this, um, this sort of um, uh, confidence audit that I'm going to send out to you. I haven't had my whole cup of tea yet. Maybe that's why I'm like not totally uh, getting my words out. So in your business, now here's, here's where I want to talk to you. What is your business? Now, some of you um, are working uh, for someone else, okay? And so you know definitely what your business is. Some of you are entrepreneurs, you have your own business, like Kathy is in the water business uh, with Congan Water. And so each of you uh, probably know what your business is. Now, some of you are still fluctuating, and there's a number of our gals in Kansas City that really are trying to find what their business is gonna be, they're trying to settle in. Because here's the truth, y'all. As women, we are so talented. We are so gifted. God just made us different. We can do many things. And so you may be in that place where you're still trying to find that business that you can be passionate about, that thing that you really want. And that's okay. I mean, that's that's a good thing as you, as you strive to find that thing that you really love and want to do and that makes it easy to share. When I was in Mary Kay, I'm telling you, I love the product. I... I started the business I never even wanted to I never thought I would sell the product I never thought that would be my business but I love the product so one day <laughs> and y'all always listen for these little signs if you're in a if you're having a, a at one of your clients house or something and I remember my uh, consultant and my current senior director I, I'm still in as a personal use I, I don't work the business anymore but I said to her when we were doing, a, you know, the fall makeover, you know, what are the new colors? Because I love the product. I used a lot of it. And I said to her, I said, you know, there's only two products that I love enough I could ever tell anybody about. One is Mary Kay and the other one is Tupperware. I mean, my cabinets were full of Tupperware. Do y'all know where I'm coming from here? So those are two products that I knew I loved and I could easily represent. It, it wouldn't even be hard. And so obviously she listened and paid attention and not long later I was buying my product, you know, wholesale and became a consultant, never knowing what God had ahead, you know, and as many of you know, I, I did uh, go on to work the business and was a pink Cadillac driver for, for a number of years. So when you're looking at what you're doing or what you're thinking about, finding that thing is important. But now here's where I'm going to deviate. Many of you, and those of you who may listen later, are not working a job outside the home. Many of you are moms at home, and I want you to know that I am also talking to you because you have a business. Every woman works, period. Every woman works, whether we work in the home, uh, with our families, and we're a stay-at-home mom, whether we're working a job outside the home, because if you're a mom, no matter what it is, you're still you're working at home. You still have all the things that need to be done there and the household and the children to take care of if you have children. And you still are working an outside the home job, maybe for someone, as I said, someone else, or maybe you're working as an entrepreneur. But here's the thing. 
We are all working. We all have some business that we're about. Maybe you are retired and you say, well, Delinda, you're not really talking to me. I don't need to do that one. Well, you're not dead, okay? So if you're not dead, you are still doing something. Maybe your job, so to speak, so just listen with your heart, okay? Maybe your job right now is volunteering. Maybe that's what you're doing. You're volunteering and, and helping others in areas that you weren't able to do when you were, you know, when you worked another job or before you retired. Maybe your job now is taking care of, could be your grandchildren. There are many of you. I am really surprised. I should look that up. The statistics of grandparents are that are helping to raise their grandchildren. That is a big percentage of our population right now. That is your job. And just because it's not something that you're getting paid for, know that when I talk about your job and your business and your career, whatever it is that God has you doing right now is your job. Does that make sense to you guys? So those of you don't think that I'm not talking to you I, and I'm not singling out only women that are working as, as I talk to people because sometimes it's finding that clarity. And I, I read, um, Billy Graham, one of Billy Graham's, I don't know if it was his last book, because he could have written another one before I, uh, I mean, after I read this one, and I just haven't had, don't know of it and haven't read it, so I need to check on that. But in his book, you know, at this time, he was over 80 when he wrote this book, and he basically said, if you're retired, if you're not working anymore, he said, great, go out and make a difference in people's lives. You still have something to do. And he says that if you're just sitting home watching TV and that's all you do all day, then shame on you because there's still more to be done. So there's still people who need a loving touch. There's still people who need to know that someone cares about them. Um, maybe you're one of the ones and sometimes, and I have to tell you, I have the sweetest lady in uh, she's in our gifts, which is Girlfriends and Fellowship Together at our church. Um, it's a ladies' book uh, Bible study that meets on Fridays, um, except during the summer. And uh, she is just a doll. I call her my soul sister because every day, every time I see her, she's got her makeup on. She gets her hair done once a week. Her nails are done. She takes such good care of herself. And she is always looking at ways that she can reach out and help somebody else. And she has to use a little walker. Um, but she has a smile on her face and she makes a difference every day. And that's what God has her job right now. Okay, uh, hear what I'm saying? So wherever you are, you have a job, you have a calling, you have something that you're doing that's really important. So when I, when you look at, when you get the, uh, this questionnaire, this survey, think of that as you fill it out. In your business, in what you're doing, in what God has you right now, how is your confidence level? Do you feel really good about the fact that you are home, taking care of your children and, and the home and, and maintaining that balance and that harmony within the home? Do you feel really good and know that's where you're supposed to be? Then great, give yourself a 10, okay? And maybe if you are working another job and you're working at a level that you want, maybe you're in the top whatever of your company and that's been your goal that success level then great give you one give yourself again those high scores maybe you are uh, maybe just doing something part-time and you're loving it you're not really sure about where you're going or how confident you feel in that area well that's where you um you know maybe give yourself a five or a six because you're still trying to figure it out so i want you to just know that I respect all of you and whatever it is that you're doing. And I don't know why um, I just had this feeling that there's somebody out there today that needed to be affirmed that no matter what it is you're doing, it's important. And that is your business for this season or this point in your life. Um, many of us, as we've gotten older, yep, you know, I think I've told you before, I'm 67. And I'm doing now what I thought I'd be doing in my 30s and 40s. And that wasn't the season for me. So I was an at-home mom for most of that. Then, you know, I added in Mary Kay as the kids got a little bit older. Um, I could have certainly done it when they were younger. It just never occurred to me and was able to still be home when they got home from school. That was important to me. We all have those priorities of our life of what we what we want and what we want to contribute and, and what we want to add to our life. So I want you to uh, feel affirmed, to feel comfortable and confident in those choices that you're making because you're making a difference 
you know, you're doing, making a difference in the world every day. So um, let me see now, who else has been on here? So Michelle, Michelle Ellison. So where are you? Check in. Christy, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think it's positive thinking and uh, just energy, keeping busy. I don't have time to be tired and get old. <laughs> So, uh, oh, Elvie, okay. So, you know, we're kind of right there together. Cheers to us, right? Good morning, Dana. Nice to see you. I'm going to slide back, you guys. So that's where my eyes are down because I can't, uh, I, I have to look down to see. Jan Bold, good morning. Where are you? Come on, tell me the rest of you. Tell me where you are. Laura Weissman and Hilda. Good morning. And Jan and Carol. Yay, Carol. Carol, where are you? Are you still like up in Missouri, Iowa, somewhere? I don't know where you are. And let's see, Linda's Overland Park, okay. Okay, so who wants to also give me a comment? What do you what do you think about it? What what um are you doing in your life? Just check in and say what you're doing. Do you mind sharing that this morning? It's not like that's a hard question. If you're a mom at home, if you are retired, if you're raising grandchildren or are helping to, and many times I mean, come on, multitask is our middle name, right? Woman equals multitasker. So we can be a mom at home and working a part-time job, running our own in-home business. That's why, I really think that's why in-home businesses are so popular is because many women do want to, um, they do want to be home with their kids, but they want to do something else. They want to have that other outlet. They want to bring in that additional income. Christy, you own a bakery. Woo! Yay! That's awesome. How cool. Um, where? So, Christy, where are you? Um, and sometimes, y'all, you just have to forgive me if I don't recognize your name. If I always, if I see faces, I would know if, if if you're in Kansas City, if you've come to our meetings or anything. But, Christy, where are you? And, and where is your bakery? That is cool. Anybody else want to share what they do? Okay. Um, Audrey is a line item editor and proofreader, and yay. I really probably should, Audrey, every so often, I probably should send some of my things to you, but I do them at the middle of the night, and like, okay, <laughs> let's hope this is right. So that is such a great job. Okay, Florida. Well, that is cool. Maybe I'll make it to Florida sometime. You know, my goal, you guys know this, right? My goal is to get a fun, fearless female chapter in every state. And, you know, so I'm looking for people who want to come alongside and help make that happen. And just being a connector in your town is really all it involves. So uh, reach out to me if you would like that to happen and I can fill you in on what that means. And, you know, if I need to get on a plane, you know, a couple times a week and go to different parts of the country, that would be so cool and come and meet all of you and and spread this camaraderie, this thing that we have going and just connecting each other. Okay, LB, I'm retired and have since published my first book, Warm Regards, Inspiration 365. Good for you. Let me see what else did you say here. Just started on my second book. Yay, good for you. That is great. And uh, okay, Christy, I think that sounds cool. We'll have to reach out, send me a private message and we can, uh, actually get on the phone and, and talk about things and see what's going on down there with you and owning your bakery and yet here you are on the on the call with us. I love that. So um, who else wants to check in and say what are you doing? What is your what is your business? What is this thing that you are doing now? Um, okay, oh, there I got a little thumbs up. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm waiting on you guys. I'm gonna just kind of keep quiet. That's really hard for me on this side of the on this side is not to be talked it's like who do we want quiet airspace mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay i can't hardly stand it all right uh let's see send it in an email and i will go through it when i get up and send corrections okay i will keep that in mind thanks audrey i appreciate that <laughs> so because y'all know every so often i do make mistakes what my biggest mistake what happens is i get to doing and then my finger my hand goes over and clicks that enter button before I'm really ready to send it and it's like oh man it already went and then I noticed that I spelled U Y U and the O didn't get in there not because I don't know how to spell but because I wasn't uh, typing more carefully so um, I apologize ahead of time it's not my goal to ever send out something that is not correct but forgive me when I do 
All right, so who else is out there that wants to share what they do? Thank you, Audrey, for sharing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, anybody else? So some of the rest of you, some names that um, I didn't recognize today, and I'd love to know where you are. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, where are you, and what do you do? You know, that's that, uh, you know, and we talk a lot about the, the one minute. That That is something, like, if you are actually in business, that when you go to networking meetings, that's something that you need to be able to communicate. And we'll talk a little bit about that when we talk about the communication um, segment of our seven steps. All right. So let's, let's go back and we'll kind of um, uh, pull this together. So where do you feel that you are yourself today? And you know, that's all we can do is where we are now. It might not be... Maybe there was something in your past where you felt 100% confident and you knew you loved it and you knew you were great and th that you would give yourself like a 9 or a 10. And I know sometimes you'll give yourself a 9 because you're thinking, well, I, you know, uh, there's always room for improvement. And that's true. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to give yourself a 10. If you really feel confident about what you do, then give yourself a 10. And it doesn't matter. Here's the other thing. Success is what... Uh, Success is what it means to you. To someone else, okay, I'm going to use Mary Kay as an example because, you know, you guys, I was in Mary Kay for 20 years or something, so I can't not talk about it. It's just a big part of my life. So I just use it as examples. Not, I'm not trying to sell anybody on anything. I'm, I'm not even doing the business per se. So, um, again, it, that's the reason I use so many Mary Kay things is I learn so much and I feel like there's so much value that I can give back to you using that as an example. So for instance, in Mary Kay, the, st the level of success, the very top level is a national sales director. Okay. Then right under that are um, Cadillac directors, senior directors, and you could be a Cadillac director without being a senior. So, but basically, you know, the pink Cadillac is the hallmark. That's the, you know, we call it the you know, the, the trophy on wheels. So that is looked at as the top of success in Mary Kay, right? Well, maybe you, in your business, maybe your level is, they don't have pink Cadillacs, but there's a something else. But maybe that's not what your goal is. Maybe your success level that you have set for yourself, it doesn't have to be what other people set for you. And I think, again, that is a um, an issue that we get into in business situations. And when I ask you, to give rate yourself on, from one to 10 on where you feel you are in your business. I want you to do this based on what you want. Now, I don't want you to, to play it easy and, and just say where you're settling. But if your goal was, for instance, maybe your goal when you started your business was you just needed for your family and whatever, or you were planning for a vacation, whatever that might be. And maybe your goal was to make $1,000 a month, okay? And if, you're, if you've reached that, and to you, that's success. If your goal, and that's what you want, is $1,000 a month or $500 a month, I don't know what the number is, then if you're looking to say, well, you know what? I really am. My goal when I started was to make $1,000 a month. I've been making $1,000 a month for, ex for however many months. And so then you could look at yourself, you know, I am successful. I feel confident about that. I've gone out. I'm doing what I like to do. I feel confident because I've accomplished my goals. And you may decide to up it and, and uh, set new goals for yourself. Or maybe this is where you want to stay. It's the activity level that you want. So for you, that is success. So success is only measured by what you set it not for someone else. You know, because when you go up to other extra levels in a business... Sorry, you guys, my little doggie is coughing down here if you hear her. Um, if you try to live up to the success levels that other people might have for you, you will then probably find yourself in a place of being frustrated and discontent. And so then, obviously, you're not going to feel confident because you're feeling less than. You're feeling not worthy or not enough in your business level. So really take a look at yourself. That's why, I, that's why we're calling it the mirror, the confidence mirror. When you look in the mirror, what do you see as far as what do you want? Honey, honey, honey. Poor thing. Um, she drinks water. This is a little personal aside. You know, she drinks her water so fast and then she just coughs because she can't handle Hold on just a second. I'm going to pick her up. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Because if I don't, she'll start like barking. Here she is. This is Sasha. She gets to go to the groomer today and get a little bath. So 
She's saying hi. <laughs> just so y'all know, yes, this is just real life here at home in Las Vegas with the dog. Um, all right, so now let's see. I was trying to see uh, who is this? Who said this? Up. Oh, I'm trying to see. Hey, Katie. Hilda. Hi there. Hilda, I went to college with you. Oh, Chrissy, you used to do Mary Kay. All right. Um, so, okay, so to sum it all up, where do you see yourself in your business, in your life business? So right now, what is it that you're doing? What is it that's taking the majority of your time? If you're working at, if you're working at home, stay home mom, retired, helping raise grandchildren, um, maybe your season is just enjoying and studying and, and feeding yourself. Maybe you've given so much through the years and now is your time to feed yourself and really um, have some introspection and look at your life. Then that is your job right now. So give yourself a break. Women, we're so hard on ourselves. I don't want you, and I didn't see any men today. Uh, sometimes we have a few guys that will join us. Um, but give yourself a break. Look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. And, you know, you can give yourself, and maybe you're a five or a six or a seven, but, you know, whatever that is, look at it. Those give you an idea of maybe areas where you might want to grow and to stretch yourself, maybe find some new opportunities, whatever that means. Um, but mainly... If you're just because you don't fit in the mold of somebody else or answer a question that you think um, somebody wants the answer to. So in other words, don't answer anything by how you think I want to see your answers. I want to just know how you are, how you are yourself, because it's really about letting you see what you think about yourself. All right. I think we have come to the end of our time. You know, my goal is always to um, uh, try to stay within our time frame and stay true to that. See, I have another comment here. What does that say? Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is little Sasha. <laughs> She's my sweetie. She is a little. She has a little heart condition. We had to take her to the the doggy heart doctor yesterday. Uh, but she's okay. It's just a. It's going to be. We think. We think it's a slow process that she won't. It's nothing that's, uh, you know, uh, terrible right at the moment. So we're thinking we have it under control. So you guys, I am so grateful for you. I am so uh, just so appreciative that you come and spend your time. There is no greater gift that we can give anyone is to give them our time. So I so appreciate that. I know sometimes it's not easy. Um, look forward to the, um, uh, the confidence mirror uh, survey audit thing that's coming out. It'll be maybe by Wednesday or Thursday, just sometimes this week you'll get it. And I really hope that you will fill it out and, and pass it on to other people because I'd like to have a big posting. Um, I am actually going to write a book later this year about this and so kind of collecting information for that so you can be part of my surveying for the book which will be the confidence mirror. So anyway you guys are amazing. Don't forget that. Remember how great you are and as I always like to finish every event everything that I do is to remind you that life is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. So choose wisely, go out, make it a fabulous week, do in your life what you know that you want and are called to do, and whatever, whatever it takes, and uh, <laughs> go out and make a difference as you go. All right, good luck, have a wonderful week, and uh, love you guys. Bye.